Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Clever Clarinetist. I'm your host, Dr. Larkin Sanders. Today, I would like to introduce you to the newest member of my personal clarinet family, Marie. I just got Marie on a trip to Paris. In spite of COVID-19 at all, I was able to travel to Paris and see not only the Henry Summer Paris showroom, but also go to the factory and see how the clarinets are made. It was great. I love knowing more about the manufacturing process. Um, it helps me make sure I'm bringing like the best possible products to my store and it helps me understand them that much better when I'm trying to help people like you find the perfect horn. Um, and I've always wanted to own my own bass clarinet and now seems like as good of a time as ever to like go to Paris and try out as many clarinets as I could and come back with the perfect instrument for me. Um, some features of this clarinet, this is from the Privilege line from Henri Selmer. Um, so there's, there are also Privilege soprano clarinets. It is a low C instrument, so it has some sweet little thumb keys. I really like that these thumb keys are so small and they're really easy for me to get to. A lot of thumb keys on bass clarinets are really big and with my little feminine thumbs it makes it um, hard to maneuver them. Um, and so the range goes down to low C. And it sounds beautiful and I will demonstrate it a little more later. Um, the keys are all silver plated and the wood is grenadilla the whole body is grenadilla um and the neck is also silver plated i really like the shape of the neck that comes with the selmer paris bass clarinets because it's got a really steep neck and that makes it feel a little bit more like a soprano clarinet when it comes at your mouth at this angle instead of at the like straighter angle that so many bass clarinets uh work the, these days i mean a straight angle neck is fine if if that's what you prefer i'm not saying that this is necessarily better than that I'm saying that I like it more um, as a primarily a clarinetist uh, this is major for me if I were doing more doubling on saxophone it might be a little bit different because the saxophone comes straight in your mouth and if you're a saxophone is playing bass clarinet you might actually prefer that uh, for, for me as a clarinetist this is great um, what else the instrument came with a mouthpiece like all instruments do but this instrument actually came with a nice mouthpiece I got to sit down with um, a selection of mouthpieces. You can either get your summer privilege with a concept mouthpiece or a focus mouthpiece, and I chose a focus mouthpiece to come with my clarinet. Um, so that's kind of a cool thing about summer Paris clarinets in general. Whether it's a soprano or a bass clarinet, um, the instruments do come with professional grade mouthpieces, not just mouthpieces that were thrown into bucks. All right. What else is good about this clarinet? The action feels really good. I haven't even had this set up yet by a technician. It feels great. All the notes are coming out well. Uh, I am able to play like a full four octave range on this instrument with no real issues. The sound is gorgeous. Um, yeah, everything about it feels really good. I and mean, I'm excited to do some more comparing in the coming weeks from this instrument, the Selmer Paris Privilege Low C Bass Clarinet to the Royals in my inventory, and maybe some other bass clarinets as well. If you're interested in hearing me test some other bass clarinets or soprano clarinets, let me know in the comments. All right, so to do this trial, I will play a C major scale. I know that's quite the departure from our normal F major, but that's because this is a low C instrument and you wanna hear that low C, right? Um, I will do it first slurred and with an extension up to a, like a high G and then back down, all the way back down to the lowest D again. And I'll do a slurred and then articulated. And then I will play a, an etude from Rose's 32 Etudes to complete my demonstration of Marie. <sighs>